Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and in this quick tip we're going to take a look at the clipping warnings for our shadows and our highlights. Now in order to toggle these on you can tap the J key and you can see now that I have this red overlay in all the highlight areas of my image. And if we look at the histogram we can see that those areas are overexposed. Now, I don't want there to be pure white areas in the highlights of my image. So in order to recover these, I'm going to use the basic panel. I'm going to start by actually moving the highlight slider a little bit towards the left. And you can see as I do that, that red overlay disappears, meaning that Lightroom is able to recover information in that highlight area. Now, if I had areas in my image that had a blue overlay, that would tell me that those areas have been clipped to pure black. And in fact, if I move my black slider over to the left, we can actually watch those areas appear in my image. I'll go ahead and reset the black slider by double clicking on it. But then I might actually want to set a new black point by moving that slider towards the left a little bit until I see those blue overlay areas start to appear up here in the image. Because I want to make sure that I make use of the full dynamic range in this image all the way from black to white. In order to toggle off the clipping warnings, I can tap the J key again. And if I just wanted to toggle them on temporarily, I could position my cursor on top of either the shadow clipping icon here in the histogram or the highlight clipping icon on the right side of the histogram. Of course, I could also click directly in the histogram and drag to the left or to the right in order to move the sliders without actually having to come down into the basic panel. As a general rule of thumb, we really don't want to clip any of the highlight areas in our image unless it's intentional because our eyes are very sensitive to a dot, especially on paper. If you're going to print this image, you want to make sure that in the highlight areas there is some kind of dot that's being laid down on the paper. Otherwise, because our eyes are so sensitive to patterns, our eyes will go directly to that brightest area and notice that there's actually no ink being laid down. On the other end of the spectrum with the blacks, that's really more of an aesthetic choice. There are plenty of photographers and images out there that have really deep, rich blacks without any detail in those shadow areas. But if you want to maintain information in the shadows, then you'll want to make sure that you're not clipping any of the important area in your image to pure black. So as you can see, the clipping warnings for your shadows and highlights can really help you to make informed decisions when changing the values of your image. I'm Julianne Koss. Thanks for watching.